I'm mind blown that your foray into songwriting is because of quarantine. Someone actually asked me, like, out of all the years, like, which year would I go back to? And mm -hmm. I could honestly say, like, 2020. Wow. Um, not just because, like, of the pandemic, but, like, mm -hmm. more so just, like, being able to see the Lord in, like, every single moment. Really, like, looking back at this year, just like, wow, like, I've, I've grown a lot, like, spiritually, mentally. Maybe not physically because, you know, <laughs> the gyms are closed. <laughs> <laughs> but every everywhere else, uh, definitely, I've I've been growing, and it's been such a blessing. I could honestly, like, without without going through this year, like, I wouldn't be where I am, and it's just amazing. Hello, and welcome to Music and Mission Sessions, episode nineteen. Ooh, the end of season two. Yeah, there's seasons. Uh, we try to do like ten episodes a season so that we can. Uh, figure out uh, how to keep going so after this we'll actually take a little break um and try to figure out what season three would look like so we're here and i think what's so crazy is after 19 weeks of uh talking to people about music about vocation about songwriting uh there has really become this little family a music and mission family and uh last uh, saturday we had open mic three I mirrored Emmanuel oh yeah and we were sharing uh songs about the the presence of God don't worry be afraid to shout oh, okay yes welcome to music and mission episode 19 and the open mic was amazing um and it is I don't have words but it was beyond what we could have dreamed of when we first thought of doing uh this i mean music and mission and then also doing open mics and it became really such a crazy space of people sharing songs for the first time ever people being super courageous and vulnerable to share some very intimate personal prayers and so i'm getting sentimental thinking that wow we're at the end of the year and there's really this gift of a very special family that we have uh, been able to witness and create oh volume up Oh, thank you, Gabby. Uh, witness and create. <laughs> and so see, and everybody's helping each other out. Point being is the guest tonight is a really, really special guest that I'm excited for because he is somebody that we would have never met, or at least me, I would have never met without the Lord really leading us to create this music and mission family. And uh, I just have to take a moment to honor and thank Rudy from Canada. Bro, he just like started to invite other people and share it and, and invite his friends from Canada. And so that's how we eventually got to meet, I mean, so many brothers and sisters and people from Canada who are awesome, who are super talented. And this uh, guest is one of those people who we met had an open mic and, and he was just so willing to share and immediately has become part of this uh, now international family of music and mission. So let's welcome to music and mission playing an original song entitled Coming of Our King, Randall Saltat. Wait is 
Awesome. The, uh, Gabby said um, it has mass processional, like mass opening vibes, <laughs> which, yeah, it's, it's the perfect song to start something like today's episode. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about the song because I've got some questions, but uh, maybe a little about yourself. You are from and uh, and what is it like where you're from? <laughs> yes. Um, my name is Randall Saltat. Uh, I am 22 years old. I am from... Ontario, Canada. <laughs> um, I am currently in college. I'm studying uh, software development and network engineering. Um, oh, I was also I'm on, computers. Oh, that's, uh, I'm on my last year. Nice. Oh, dang. Yes. And yeah, I like basketball. I like to play guitar. I like to sing. I like to praise Jesus, I like to go to Mass, I like to go to adoration, confessions, all of that, and I just, I really love uh, worship, and I really love um, just learning more about my faith. Hey Amen, that's beautiful. Where did you, I guess that's my question then, where, where did that love for, as you said, worship and your faith, where did that start? Um, it actually started... Uh, is through choir. Um, oh, wow. So we went to a church, St. Martha and Mary. Um, it was with a bunch of, like, my family friends. Um, I sat up with my cousin, and my cousin invited me. Uh, we'd always sing when you were... We, I was, like... I don't know how old I was. I think I was, like, 10. 8, 9, 10. But um, we'd always sing in, in the church. Uh, we'd sing choir. And that kind of made me... Um, love or appreciate music more and especially um you know being in choir and stuff uh i actually learned how to play piano first oh wow I didn't really i didn't really like it <laughs> i don't know like it was just it was just so boring you know <laughs> but i got into guitar um only because um of uh music men in the cfc youth 
uh, community. Um, I was asked to serve as music band, and that also kind of helped, I guess, like spark that love for for worship and praise, and just um, really appreciating like these songs to to praise the Lord. You know that it's, it's our way of like adoring Him and, and glorifying Him, and it's just always been like in my heart, and it's always been a part of me, I guess. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool that you got your start in, in choir at a young age. What's your favorite uh, church song? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Maybe the Gloria. Only because like there's every single time like I go to mass, like there's always like different ways of singing it. And every single church I go to, like, every different church I go to, like, it's always a different way of singing it. And, like, every single way is just, like, a beautiful, beautiful, like, sound and, like, stuff. Wow. Oh, amen. Yeah, that is not the answer that I was expecting, but that's <laughs> more beautiful. <laughs> I thought you'd pick one of those go-to mass songs. <laughs> yeah, but that's beautiful. The uniqueness in the different ways that uh, churches sing it. That's awesome. So, yeah, now going to a, a song that, uh, as everybody was saying, is like really so clearly a song of adoration. Um, the, the one you just sang, uh, Coming of Our King. What's the story behind that? Um, so the theme was actually um, the theme of Advent. Um, it is through the perspective of like, the three wise men and um, how like we're kind of like them. Um, just so, like our journey to, to Jesus and his coming, um, you know, we follow that star, we, we, we crawl through this, through the desert, you know, um, and just how difficult that journey been, right? Um, and, you know, them bringing gifts and uh, us, like, we, we might, we may, oh, we may not have, we may not have those gifts, but um, the have those gifts of like frankincense and like gold and silver but we do have the gifts of uh, hope peace love and joy you know three the four candles of advent and just really being able to um use those gifts to uh really help our, our journey to jesus and to help prepare ourselves wow oh man that's beautiful yes. And you, you wrote it during this Advent? Oh, wait, are you able to fix your camera? <laughs> I'm yes, just looking just at a circle. <laughs> okay. One second. Welcome back. Yeah, to work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, no worries. Um, but yeah, so for the... Uh, um, uh, oh, yeah, so was it a song that you wrote for this Advent or in, in the past? Um, it was a song I wrote for this Advent. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So actually, this Advent um, was actually like kind of like my way of like appreciating Advent more and just like how, how beautiful it is and just like being able to prepare our hearts and just, just for the coming of, of, of Jesus and stuff. So it's really helped me grow in my faith. Definitely, I, I would definitely say. Amen. Yeah, that's beautiful. And, and I think that's what's so cool, like to hear the story behind it and that it it's a song of the Advent season, and then that's like the feeling that it evokes. Everybody's talking about that it makes them happy, and it's this song of just joyful, like Gabby said, the start of Mass. It's just like this exciting welcome to uh, something joyful and beautiful. So that's so cool that you really captured that. When did you go from young choir boy of 10 to 11, and uh, eventually from piano to guitar, and at what point? Do you switch from singing these beautiful songs to actually trying to write some? Um, it actually started uh, this year, um, just quarantine. Uh, so um, I think it was like summer. Uh, I, ju I just started like I just started like playing like random like chord progressions and like kind of like. I don't know, just do just this one day where I I kind of just I had a chord progression and um it just hit me like every single like word, like every single uh pr prayer. Like it it was just a prayer to to Jesus to to God and like it was just I don't know, I couldn't get the word. I couldn't 
I suck it. I suck. <laughs> I suck with like saying words and stuff, and I I suck at English. I'm like low key fob, and like I can't, <laughs> I can't like create songs. But I think the one thing that has really like helped me is is using my prayers as my songs. So like I'd always have I'd have like a prayer journal. This one right here, I have a prayer <laughs> journal, <laughs> and like I'd always just like write my prayers or like write、um, how my day was or、um, just everything that like inspired me, and I kind of used that as like、um, to help build my song, and like I've also used like you know ver-、uh, anchor verses, and like I've used、uh, scriptures and just like I've u- I've used a lot of things to really help in my like. Songwriting journey, yes, and it all started during quarantine, and just, um, just um, you know that that whole like that whole time like of of like doing nothing. I've I spent、um, just you know playing songs, worshiping him, and just I don't know. I just started from there, and like I just. Wanted to make more songs and like, the Lord really put that fire in my heart、um, to really make more songs and to really,、um, hopefully, inspire people、um, to write songs. You know, because you don't have to be, you know, a perf- an amazing songwriter. You have to be, you don't have to have like, amazing guitar skills, but you know, really using like simple things as like your prayer,、um, simple things.、Um, As、uh, simple things that 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 come to mind to to write songs, you know, just like you need that small little spark of inspiration, and that's what kind of helped me. Oh, amen. Oh, I gotta quote something because when you said the spark of inspiration,、um, yeah, from from letter to artist from Saint Pope John Paul II,、um, and he he writes this、uh, <clears throat> letter to artist. Oh, so he says. Uh, the divine artist passes on to the human artist a spark of his own surpassing wisdom, calling him to share in his creative power. And so, when you talk about like you just need a spark from somewhere, and that's really what what it is, you know. Like from from、uh, as Catholics, that、uh, we really believe that. Creative spark, especially for artists who maybe might not be religious or even spiritual, but we really believe that that the very heart of that spark is 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 the Lord moving. the The part that I really like, he says, like when you perceive that kind of divine spark, which is artistic vocation, poet, writer, sculptor, architect, musician, actor, so on. Feels the obligation to not waste this talent, but to develop it and to put it at the service of others. And I think you—you you mean you just described that there's this fire in you to keep writing and to share it, and that it doesn't even have to be so good, but that you just share it out of because it's a prayer. That's a beautiful thing. Definitely. Amen.、Um, the prayer journal. That. Is、uh, so before you even started trying to write songs, you were already keeping a prayer journal. Yes, I would.、Uh, it'd be like kind of like my prayers to to God. I'd just like write it down, or like it'd be like a journal of like not just prayers, but like a a bunch of things. Like when I see like a a verse, like I really like, oh, I wrote it down, or like、um, I'd I'd listen to a lot of podcasts, you know, Father Mike Schmitz. Oh yeah. Um, I'd I'd listen to him and like I'd write down like almost like every single thing he says because it's so cool <laughs> and so amazing and it just like really like a lot of things he says really inspires me and has helped me.、Um, you know, during talks in in like camps or like CFC with events, you know, I'd write I'd write those down in my journal. So that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, because I've been finding like、uh, the people I talk to like that's so key is having some way. Of just writing all of these little inspirations that that come to you,、um, so I think, without even knowing it, it really feels like God was already preparing you for something like this, like being able to then combine. You're already taking an inspiration, and then you just had to add the little drop of musicianship that that you're blessed with. Beautiful. When did the when did you start prayer journaling? Because for a lot of people who might want to get into 
songwriting and then I think that would be a place we would tell them to start is keeping a journal or writing things down and what what made you start keeping a prayer journal um I'm not really sure I just I I went to uh what was this I think minis no no I forgot what it was called, but it was like a store. Mm. It was like it was like really like a min. It was like a minimalistic store. So like I, I bought this like, really like, thick journal, <laughs> and just I just started writing um, because. It was during actually, one of the conferences, twenty. I'm not sure which, how which year, but it was one of the one of the conferences, and I don't know. I just. Uh, after that conference, I just started writing down every single thing that I heard about, like just anything about my faith, and like I just always I've I've I suck at like writing journals and like making journals and making vlogs and stuff, but every I just started like writing everything down, everything I learned, everything uh, throughout my journey um, to like where I am now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so hungry. Hungry? <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, no, no, you're good. You're good. That that's a beautiful answer. Like just to start, I love that it was a, a physical journal. They got you started. Just like seeing that, especially we're super virtual now, right? But something about you just seeing that physical journal is what got you started. Um, beautiful. Well, what is the next song you have for us? Uh, the next song <laughs> it is untitled but it was a song that I wrote uh, after quarantine it's actually my the first song that I wrote uh, during quarantine um, it's based off Psalm 37 verse 23 to 24 our steps are made firm by the Lord and the lights in our way Though we, stum- though we stumble, we shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds us by the hand. So, Amen. All right. This is, this is untitled, but not, yeah, titled to be no. determined. Yes. <laughs> All right. Take it away, Randall. I 
I will not follow Let me make my way to you Though I may make mistakes Let me make my way to you Though I may feel stray Surrender my heart to you Amen. Wow. Thank you, Randall. That one was, yeah, the, uh, Tina put relatable. I think um, <laughs> that's a beautiful one because it's, uh, it's not the same joyful prayer that the first one was. Is there is there more uh, story behind uh, where that prayer comes from, for you? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, so this this prayer, song prayer. Um, it was I wrote it uh, during quarantine. It was kind of like a really tough time for me. Um, I think especially um, just like the struggles. I I tend to always um, oh. Sorry. <laughs> My alarm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're a kid. <laughs> Back to the circle, circle version of Randall. Can you see me? Uh, not yet. There's a little cat that says, "Look, oh there, oh, oh." <laughs> One sec. Sorry, I use my phone as, like, a video camera because, like, <laughs> sorry for, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, but, yeah, so, like, this song was, um, I remember during quarantine, mm -hmm. it was, like, a really tough time for me, um, and it's, like, the amount of struggles I, I went through throughout quarantine, uh, just spiritually, um, and, like, mentally, because I also had school. Mm. Um, and it just I just really allowed that to kind of consume me throughout those past months um, just until um, I just I don't know something I think it was it was like a, it was a video from Father Mike Schmitz I, I love that guy <laughs> shout out to that guy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, he just I don't know I don't know which video it was um, I'm a really forgetful person <laughs> but it was a video. Um, it just really like s inspired me and just allowed me to just snap out of it, snap out of that like um, sort of like sadness, and um, it kind of allowed me to really see the Lord in in my struggles and how like um, every single every single struggle I, I I've been through throughout the quarantine like um, it wasn't it wasn't Him. It wasn't it wasn't him uh, not being there for me, but more so me kind of pushing him away, and so um, after that, I I just allowed like the Lord into my heart, and I really this is it was really like a kind of like a moment I didn't want to forget, mm -hmm. so I kind of wrote it into like a song, and so like I don't know I I found like a verse which was Psalm thirty seven verse twenty five. Uh, verse 20, verse 37, chapter 23 to 24. Um, and it just really helped me um, kind of pick myself back up and allowed me to really appreciate um, my struggles a lot more and seeing the Lord in those struggles, you know, because he, he never leaves you. He's always by your side. It's just you allowing him into your heart and you just allowing him to be there. You know, um, and yeah, I, this song just popped out of nowhere, and I was like, "Whoa, what? It's pretty cool." Wow! Oh man, yeah. I love that. It's because I even I, I think of how I'm mind blown that again your foray into songwriting is because of quarantine, and so uh, exactly what you're saying on a specific scale for that song and, and what you were going through. But in general, like we're we're literally here talking because 
in quarantine specifically, there was blessings and God sent you a divine spark, gave you more time. You tried songwriting, you, you, you know, turned your prayers into, into music. And then that led to, you know, the, eventually you came to the open mics and we met. And so like, I think it's, it's just so loud that even us talking, like you said, seeing the Lord in, in the struggles of quarantine and just to be able to meet you even was only I think possible because of the way God worked in quarantine so it's just so beautiful when you say that you turned it you wanted to make it a song because you didn't want to forget that moment that's awesome and it reminds me like in quarantine there are a lot of moments that because I think (laughs) 2020 like a lot of people are like forget like I don't want to remember any of this year like just pretend this year didn't happen let's start anew as we get into 2021 but yeah that line is really sticking out to me like there are things God willing and and hopefully that that God did for us this year in the struggles that we shouldn't want to forget and so I love that in your case writing a song is is one way to make sure you never forget it yeah. Amen. Thanks for sharing that, Randall. You're welcome. Actually, um, this person, someone actually asked me, like, um, what my favorite, or like, out of all the years, like, which year would I go back to? And mm-hmm. I could honestly say, like, 2020. Wow. Um, because, not just because, like, of the pandemic, but, mm-hmm. like, more, more so, like, just, like, being able to see, like, the Lord in, like, every single moment. And just like really like looking back at this year, just like wow, like I've I've grown a lot, like spiritually, mentally, maybe not physically because you know <laughs> the gyms are closed. <laughs> but every everywhere else, uh, definitely I've I've been growing, and it's been such a blessing. And you know, uh, without I I could honestly like without without going through this year, like I wouldn't be where I am. And it's just amazing. Astronomical. Wow. Thank you. I, you know, I definitely, I don't know if I, before hearing you, if I would have even considered that to even be in the realm of possibility of me answering. But when you put it that way, uh, I'm going to have to pray and really like think about that because you're right. There's so much that I've had to wrestle with that I would have never ever it would not have happened if it wasn't for the craziness of this year and finding God in the struggles so man for real thank you for the story behind that song it's it's powerful it's beautiful amen so you wrote these songs that you, you first the quarantine you tried writing songs it was divine spark and, and uh, definitely a spirit-led moment and then at what point and to who do you first share those songs with or show those first ever Randall songs to? <laughs> uh, usually just my close friends, um, my cousins. Um, just like I, I ask them like, hey, like how, how does this sound? And I play for them on like Discord and stuff. And um, I ask them for like their opinion um, and just like, like also ask them if like I can fix some things up, like if there's any any like better ways of of like playing this or like better ways of saying this and stuff. And sometimes I'd ask for like help, like uh, if I want to record my song, uh, which I recently did this song, I recorded on my Instagram. Um, I asked for help. Oh, again, oh, I'm so back sorry. Back to the care. <laughs> <laughs> um, I asked for help and. Um, it's uh they've helped me with like harmonies and stuff so yeah that's awesome yeah i like what you said there that you ask for input you know i think that sometimes like me personally the songs are sometimes a really personal intimate thing and so it's like it's hard to ask for feedback because i'm scared like people will say it's not good is was that a difficult thing for you to do to to really share it and, and open yourself up to to input and feedback oh 
We lost him, ladies and gentlemen. Randall? Uh-oh. <laughs> I knew it. I'm talking to a circle. <laughs> Randall, if you're talking, we cannot hear you. <laughs> Hello? Oh, there, I'm there. Sorry. Now we can. I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> you're good. Is your phone dead? No, my phone is, is, is not dead. I'm just trying to fix this. Okay. I'm so yeah. sorry. Uh, take There's your so time. No worries. Issues. Going it's on. all good. It's because there's some powerful stories you have to share. We are trying to be derailed, but it's okay. Oh, perfect. All right. Awesome. Yeah. What I was Sorry. saying, uh, in short, was a uh, was it is it a hard thing for you to to open yourself up to things that are made in prayer and very personal to you, but to ask for feedback or input on those things? Um. Actually, like I wasn't. I wasn't really much of um, a sharer. Like I don't really. Before, like I, I couldn't really share a lot of things. I'd always keep everything, um, like, just like me, me, myself, and I. <laughs> um, and like I wouldn't really share about any of these things. Like I'd pray to, I'd pray, and I'd ask God. But uh, when it comes to like actual like other things, like I wouldn't ask for help. Like, I'm not the type of person to, like, really ask for help a lot. But I think throughout the years, I've realized um, there are a lot of people that are accountable for me. There are a lot of people that love me. And there are a lot of people that will always be there for me. Um, and I've realized that. And, you know, just being able to share it with them, like, just how, how I am with my faith. And just being able to share every single little thing that, um, you know, I do. Uh, whether it be, you know, something that, that happened. Um you know, seeing Jesus in a moment, you know, just being able to share that and being able to, I guess, share anything. I've just really grown to be more open, I guess, be more open with people, um, be more open with my close friends. And I think it also helped me be more open with my family, um, especially my, my parents. Um, it's just, man, like, when I look back, like, how scared and, like, how how uh, nervous I was talking to my parents about like certain things um, and like important things. But um, throughout the years, like, you know, I, I, I can openly talk to them. I can share a lot of things with them. And, you know, even my prayer life, I can share my prayer life with them. Um, and just also allowing that to um, be sort of like my, I guess like my power up to like helping help be a unity to my family um which i so uh i've i've prayed for for like a while now mm. and it this year has been like kind of like that um start up to like really being that unity to my family i just you know sharing these songs to my parents i share these songs to my parents sometimes wow uh, i share oh, it to my brothers awesome. Yeah, I get kind of nervous, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I share it with them, um, and also just like sharing my faith with them. Um, just you know, at times where like they don't want to go to mass, I'll say, "Hey, why don't we go to mass?" Or like um, my little brothers, um, I just recently took him to adoration, uh, one of my favorite sacraments, um, and just like really, he's like, he's in grade eight, so. <laughs> He doesn't really know much, but <laughs> just really being able to share that, like, knowledge, like, be that big brother knowledge to him about um, f my faith and just, like, um, that passion I have for it. Um, and it just, it just really helped me be more open with them. Man. Yeah. Yeah, Randall, thank you for that. I, I think um, it's a gut check to me because... When I write songs, and, and I would ask uh, our some of our fellow songwriters who are here, like Gabby, Vanessa, et cetera, et cetera, have you shown your specifically your parents your songs? Because I'll be honest, I you know I'm I don't I think my parents hear it once it's out there, like you know I, I record it and then put it out there, and then my mom is so supportive, but I don't sing it directly like here mom and dad i wrote something and i want to share it with you i don't that's a beautiful beautiful uh relationship that you just described uh, to share the music with your family and it's a tool 
that even allows you to grow closer to them, um, which I have never, you know, really grasped, and, and it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Gabby said her parents heard it through music and mission. Yeah, I mean, that's me too. Is like once it's something on social media, they listen to it. But bro, I, I love like we have we're talking so much in this music and mission community and with open mic of like being vulnerable and sharing these things in a safe space with friends with this little family we're making. But like, are we comfortable to do that and share this gift and this? personal prayer with our families that's that is a challenge that i challenge myself and all of our fellow songwriters to to follow randall's example <laughs> uh, but yeah man thank you for sharing that um i guess the the last question and and i i just love like you've you've got really some a beautiful story b behind the songs um it just feels like God was really tilling and, and growing a foundation of honesty in your life and your relationships. He was already having you start that prayer journal to, to be inspired. And then all that was left was to just inject that, that part of music. Um, so now that you are exploring more and more songwriting, um, what, what makes it unique? You know, I think, um, besides prayer journal and besides what you said there's a fire at the very beginning there's a fire you have now to continue writing and so what a where's that leading you um i honestly don't know um i guess it's leading me to write more of my prayers and share it um just really the lord asking me to be more um open and sharing his his love um, sharing like his love for me to other people which will help you know inspire them you know with whatever they may be like something small like writing their own songs you know or having the courage to sing or or having the courage to go on this live <laughs> you're so nervous <laughs> <laughs> but um i guess it's the lord just asking me to to share more share more of his share more of that love that joy um, to others um, and it's just it's so evident in um, you know the amount of support I get and like how many people come up to me and like be like hey like thanks for sharing that bro like no worries bro praise God <laughs> and just um, just allowing um, you know these songs to inspire people Amen. yeah and uh, I mean, I'll be one of the many to also thank you for sharing not just your music, but, but really your heart and your story. Um, definitely, we can, we can tell, like you said it at the beginning, you, you love adoration, you love learning about your faith. And I think that's what's so apparent, like in, in all the stories you've shared, um, is that it's really just sharing like this is what God's doing in my life um and so please 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 keep on keep on sharing um the oh the last thing the the open mic I just wanted to ask because again we would have never met you if not that open mic and you talk about courage to share what what led you there <laughs> I have no idea I I love singing um it's just I don't know like I just want to this this fear of of um not being able to share in front of like people I don't know to like kind of like go away because I'm not gonna lie like sometimes it can it can kind of be like um an obstacle for me when it comes to like sharing my songs sharing my like my prayers or anything and um I think the one thing that the Lord doesn't want is you not being able to share your talents that um, he he wants you to share and he wants you to show everyone um, but yeah amen thank you it is it's it's a blessing to be able to be a part of your journey towards growing in your courage to share and 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 to see you at the very start of your songwriting journey and and just to be able to uh, to witness and to hear um, 
how God's working in you. So thank you, Randall, for, for sharing, for coming on, for the courage to, like you said, courage to even just <laughs> talk with me here and, and be on this, a completely new experience. But I think everything you shared is a testament to if God's tugging at your heart to do it, like the courage, when you give that courage, courageous yes, that he'll, he'll use it. Um, so thank you. And we're looking forward to where this journey takes us together with you. That's good. I'm excited. Amen. What is the final, final song you have for us today? Oh, the final song. It's called Untitled. It's so called Untitled. It. He's got two, <laughs> two songs called Untitled. <laughs> um, but uh, this song, it is uh, inspired by... Um, the prodigal son um, is just like no matter like how many times like um, we fail or no matter how many times we push away from the Lord um, especially now like since like we're in pandemic again like lockdown mm -hmm. um, you know us being in this desert you know I'm um, just really allowing the Lord into our hearts and just re really realizing that you know when whenever like we fall and whenever like we push him away like he'll always carry us he'll always be there for us he'll always be there with open arms it's just us like being able to come back to him right have been putting our, our our pride aside and just running to him and just really seeing his love and that that radiates like crazy right um so yeah the song is untitled amen all right before you sing it we'll uh we'll do a quick prayer and then oh, yes. have you share <clears throat> All right, ready? In the, name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you so much for uh, just speaking through Randall, um, for meeting him in his his struggles and valleys this year, and that Lord, you just uh, really used him to take those struggles and to turn them into something beautiful. And so, Father, we we pray for that same um, heart that's at peace um, for, for all of us who have felt like this year was difficult and, and, was, and was hard to get through. But Lord, that you would help us to, to just see that you have been in the struggles, you've been with us. Lord, maybe that we would be able to say a, a similar thing that, that Randall said, that uh, we wouldn't trade this year as hard as it was, but we wouldn't trade it, um, that, that we learned a lot and we knew you more through it. So, Father, uh, just allow us, um, just like the prodigal son, to, to just keep coming back to you, especially at the end of this year with Advent, with Christmas. Um, Father, no matter how far we may feel, that we could come back to you, um, just be welcomed by you. This we pray. Amen.
summer days will be lifted up to you, to you. I surrender, I surrender this heart. Your love, I proclaim.